hidden error. Usage of partner is not recognized hidden error. Usage of instruments is not recognized. Gary Lee Clark, Jr. is an American guitarist and actor based in Austin, Texas. Clark shared the stage with various legends of rock and roll and has stated that he is influenced by blues, jazz, soul, and country, as well as hip-hop. Clark's musical trademarks are his distorted guitar sound and smooth vocal style. Musical career Gary Clark Jr. began playing guitar at the age of 12. Born and raised in Austin, Clark played small gigs throughout his teens until he met promoter Clifford Antone, proprietor of the Austin music club Antones. Antones was the launch pad from which Jimmy and Stevie Ray Vaughan redefined blues at the time. Soon after meeting Clifford, Clark began to play with an array of musical icons, including Jimmy Vaughan. Vaughan and others in the Austin music community helped Clark along his musical path, facilitating his ascent in the Texas rock and roll scene. Clark's music demonstrates how the blues have shaped virtually every medium of music over the past century, from hip-hop to country. Rolling Stone declared Clark Best Young Guns in its April 2011 Best of Rock issue. Clark sang on the bonus track cover of I Want You Back by the Jackson 5 on Sheryl Crow's album 100 Miles from Memphis. More recently, Clark recorded with Alicia Keys on two different songs in New York, New York. On August 28, 2012, Alicia Keys revealed via Twitter that Clark's new album and major label debut called Black and Blue would be released on October 22, 2012. Later that day, the news appeared on Clark's official website. Clark worked with the Foo Fighters on the track What Did I Do? God is my witness, on their 2014 album Sonic Highways at KLRU-TV Studio 6A in Austin, Texas. Gary Clark announced that his new album The Story of Sonny Boy Slim will be released worldwide on September 11, 2015. Live Appearances Clark performed at the 2010 Crossroads Guitar Festival alongside B.B. King, Eric Clapton, Buddy Guy, Steve Winwood, John Mayer, Sheryl Crow, Jeff Beck, and Zed Ed Top. He joined Doyle Brown Hall II and Sheryl Crow on stage for their performance with Eric Clapton, and also debuted several original songs. In June 2011, Clark played at the annual Bonnaroo Music Festival in Manchester, Tennessee, at the Miller Light on Tap Lounge. On June 10, 2012, Clark again played at Bonnaroo, and his performance was streamed live online via the Bonnaroo Music Fest channel on YouTube. In February 2012, Clark performed alongside blues legends at the Red, White and Blues event at the White House. The event, aired on PBS, also included B.B. King, Mick Jagger, Jeff Beck and Buddy Guy, among others. Clark played Catfish Blues and In the Evening, as well as contributing to performances of Let the Good Times Roll, Beat Up Her Old Guitar, Five Long Years and Sweet Home Chicago. In June 2012, Clark guested with the Dave Matthews Band playing Can't Stop and All Along the Watchtower at dates in Virginia Beach and Indianapolis. On October 21 and 22, 2012, Clark appeared as the opening act at the Bridge School Benefit Concert, Bridge 26. On December 8, 2012, Clark appeared at the Rolling Stones' first U.S. gig of their 50th anniversary tour at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, NY to perform the Don Nix song, Going Down, with the band. On December 15, 2012, he joined them on stage again to play the same song, along with John Mayer. During the last date of the Stones' mini-tour at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey, on May 13, 2013, Clark opened for Eric Clapton and his band at the LG Arena, Birmingham, England. Many of the audience felt that he stole the show on the night, with Clapton being castigated by many for being unengaged with his audience.
On June 12, 2013, Clark was the guest performer with the Rolling Stones at Boston's TD Garden. Clark joined the Stones in playing the Freddie King tune, Going Down. On June 30, 2013, Clark appeared on the Avalon stage at the Glastonbury Festival. His performance was declared the most electric performance of the festival, knocking the legendary appearance of the Rolling Stones well into second place. On October 25, 2013, he appeared on long-running British music show Later, with Jules Holland. On February 9, 2014, Clark performed the Beatles song, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, along with Dave Grohl and Joe Walsh for the Beatles. The night that changed America. On February 16, 2014, Clark performed in during the NBA All-Star Game halftime with trombone shorty, Earth, Wind & Fire, Dr. John, and Janelle Monet. On May 29, 2014, Gary Clark Jr. performed solo at Rock in Rio in Lisbon. After yet being invited to participate in one of the songs of the legendary band The Rolling Stones during this festival day, Clark performed guitar as a guest on an episode of the PBS cable television show Austin City Limits with the band Foo Fighters. That aired on 7 February 2015. He and the Foo Fighters were accompanied, on stage, by another guest guitarist, Jimmy Vaughn, a native of Dallas, Texas. On May 24, 2015, Clark opened for the Rolling Stones at Petco Park in San Diego. On July 4, 2015, he played as part of the lineup for the Foo Fighters' 20th anniversary show at RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. In popular culture, Clark starred alongside Danny Glover, Stacey Keach, and Charles Dutton in John Sayles' 2007 film, Honey Dripper. In 2010, Clark and his band played on screen in an episode of the acclaimed television series Friday Night Lights. The song, Don't Owe You a Thank, is played in the Clint Eastwood movie Trouble with the Curve. Bright Lights can be heard in a 2011 Jack Daniels commercial as well as in the 2012 video game Max Payne 3. Bright Lights has also been used in soundtrack of Stand Up Guys in the final shootout scene. Bright Lights was featured in the USA Network series Suits in the episode High Noon. Clark appears with his band performing Travis County and When My Train Pulls In in the 2014 John Favreau film Chef. Bright Lights was featured in the Showtime series House of Lies in the episode Gods of Dangerous Financial Instruments. Ain't Messine, Round, was featured in the motion picture Identity Thief in 2013. Clark was featured in the motion picture Miles Ahead as part of Miles Davis Band, Awards and Recognitions. Kirk Watson, the mayor of Austin, proclaimed May 3, 2001 to be Gary Clark Jr. Day. Clark was 17 years old at the time. Clark won the Austin Music Award for Best Blues and Electric Guitarist on three different occasions. Clark was Spin Magazine's breakout artist for the month of November 2011. Rolling Stone magazine ranked Clark's Bright Light CP number 40 on its list of its top 50 albums of 2011. Bright Lights can be heard in the video game Max Payne 3, the premiere episode of House of Lies as well as in the movie Think Like a Man near the end when the guys are in the bar before reconciling with their respective ladies. And Don't Owe You a Thank can be heard in Need for Speed. The Ron Kirk Hammett from Metallica introduced Clark on stage before his performance at the Orion Festival in Atlantic City, New Jersey. While playing music festivals such as Coachella, Jazz Fest, Memphis Beale Street, Hangout, High Sierra, Sasquatch, Mountain Jam, Wakarusa, Bonnaroo, Electric Forest, Hard Rock Calling, Newport Folk Festival, Orion Music Festival, Oshiga, Lollapalooza, and ACL Music Festival, Clark was awarded Spin Magazine's Golden Corn Dog Award for performing in more major North American music festivals in 2012 than any other musician on the planet. Clark swept the 31st annual Austin Music Awards for 2012-2013, collecting eight awards. He earned the following.
Band of the Year, Musician of the Year, Song of the Year, Ain't Messine Round, Album of the Year, Black and Blue, Electric Guitarist of the Year, Songwriter of the Year, Blues, Soul, Funk Artist of the Year, Male Vocalist of the Year. For his song, Ain't Messine Round, Clark was nominated for the Grammy Award for Best Rock Song in 2013. On January 26, 2014, Clark won the Grammy Award for Best Traditional R&B Performance at the 56th Annual Grammy Award Ceremony for his song, Please Come Home, in 2014, and 2015. Clark won a Blues Music Award in the Contemporary Blues Male Artist of the Year category. Instruments Clark uses Epiphone Casino, Gibson S330, Gibson SG, and Fender Telecaster electric guitars and Epiphone Masterbolt and Gibson Hummingbird acoustic guitars. Clark uses 011-049 Daddario Strings EXL-115 Clark uses a Fender Vibro King Amp purchased from Zapata who currently tours with him and plays rhythm. Guitar Charity Clark performed at Alicia Keys' Keep a Child Alive Black Ball Benefit in an effort to raise money for children with AIDS in Africa. The two performed The Beatles While My Guitar Gently Weeps as a tribute to George Harrison. Personal Life On November 5, 2014, it was announced Clark Jr. is engaged to his longtime girlfriend model Nicole Tranfio. Their first child together, Zion, was born the following year. Discography Studio Albums Live Albums EPs 2010 Gary Clark Jr. EP Hot Wire Unlimited Intro Bright Lights Don't Owe You a Thank Please Come Home the Life, Things Are Changing, Outro, Breakdown, 2011 The Bright Light CP, Warner Brothers, released 30 November 2010, Bright Lights, Don't Owe You A Thank, Things Are Changing, Solo Acoustic, When My Train Pulls In, Solo Acoustic, 2012 Gary Clark Jr., Presents Hot Wire Unlimited Raw Cuts Volume, 1 Hot Wire Unlimited, Warner Brothers, Released 30 April 2012, UK, Vinyl 45 Revolutions Per Minute, Side A Third Stone From The Sun, If You Love Me Like You Say, Side B Bright Lights, 2012 The Bright Lights EP Australian Tour Edition, Warner Brothers, Bright Lights, Don't Owe You A Thank, Things Are Changing, Solo Acoustic, When My Train Pulls In, Solo Acoustic, Third Stone from the Sun, If You Love Me Like You Say, Bright Lights, 2013 Gary Clark Jr. Presents Hot Wire Unlimited Raw Cuts Volume, 2 Warner Brothers, released 21 April 2013, UK, Vinyl Side A 33 Revolutions Per Minute, Side B 45 Revolutions Per Minute, Side A When My Train Pulls In, Side B When My Train Pulls In, Mixtapes 2014 Black and Blue The Mixtape, presented by D-Nice, released 30 April 2014.